Saturday's interment of the charred bodies was preceded with Islamic prayer for the dead known as Salat al Janaza, as none could be identified. The Imam and a few others unusually performed the rituals at the graveyard under such difficult circumstances. <laughs> Then the Christian prayer, records of the bodies are said to have been kept intact and relatives testified their loved ones were on board the vehicles involved in the accident. DSP Frank Brobe is Divisional Motor Traffic and Transport Department Commander for the Kintampo North Municipality. Uh, in the beginning, we are... We took up the investigation into the accident and then after the investigation we have we decided to do post time for the burnt bodies so we prepare all the necessary documents and we have performed the post on the bodies of the, the those who were who, of all the dead people let me put it that way of those who lost their life, that is their 30 people. We, we, we perform postmortem on the bodies. And now we have got the report from the doctor. It is a police, even police pathologist who perform this uh, 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 postmortem. So after that, there was the need to bury them. So now today, on the, with the collaboration of the municipal assembly, Today we are able to bury the those we couldn't, uh, the, the family couldn't come, now we have to bury them. Some of the relatives at the burial ceremony shared their grief. Nah, <laughs> Maybe she fear hospital my own, like you said, or Yanya Media, or come with my sheer and tea and nay, and I am paying for a frame and ran in the bear four o'clock, seven Bomadian said, in my bush and Baba, now and then a boy, Mas Perian, Edia Ma, Oma, and Yan Lara, and Lora Quenchian, and tea, and I am in that one, and there is when you go on so you more coin so I am your baby, a crow woman, a woman crabby, and tea, see. Meanwhile, Kintampo Municipal Chief Executive Michael Sakodia Bafo cautions road users to be extra vigilant to avoid such painful experience. Like I said, like I proposed, there should be a dialogue, a competition on the subject so that all stakeholders will be brought on board to look at the issues. If it is, it has spiritual dimension, why not? We look at it. If it is physical and it is something that we can physically do something about to avert it or to ensure that it doesn't recur. Why not? So everything in this world has both physical and spiritual dimensions that I do not want to hasten into that. I do not want to talk about it for now. Uh, we are praying. The clergy, Nananum, the Muslims are doing their bit, their bit. And I'm sure that at the end of the day, they will advise us as to what we should do. Uh, it's like Kintampo is gaining notoriety for accidents. We must probe 
that we must go into that one and establish uh, that's the course and see what we can do uh, going forward to stop it or to end it. I'm not sure. Accidents, you cannot end them completely because they are part of us. But how do we mitigate it? How do we reduce the impact that it has on us? We have lost lives here. Some of them were in active service. We even lost a policeman in this accident. Ghana has lost. Their family has lost. Everybody, humanity has also lost. But what do we do? We don't have anything to say except to thank God and to um, console those who have lost their loved ones. And further, do things that will prevent um, such accidents. The National Road Safety Commission says it is intensifying education of motorists on dangers of unroad traffic infractions. A report by Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin 